Moving on to the third challenge we have onboarding and work-life balance. Uh, we connected those two because maybe on you know first sight it doesn't connect that much, but actually with the use case we have it, it connected quite a bit. Uh, so we are going to talk about a little, a little bit uh, about each of them. Uh, regarding onboarding, uh, it's important for every company because that's the first touch that the employee has when when it arrives yeah. to, to the new workplace, to the new organization, new company. We've all been there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, why it's important to have a great, great uh, uh, onboarding process is because that's the same as it's a first impression you get in a person that you're on a date. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so that, that's that's the initial thought that you have and, and an opinion about the company is how well the onboarding is going because they are expecting certain things. They are expecting to know uh, exactly uh, where to have it smoothly, let's say it like that, to exactly know which team uh, they need to know be within to communicate, which team will be closely working with them to get all the vital information maybe about the company, to get the vital information about the work they are going to do, about the industry, uh, because you know every every title maybe is the same but the job maybe responsibilities the industry the the, the markets you're working on are different right so you need some uh, onboarding on those vital things that are needed for you to start working basically right away uh, also to know what the, what are the exact expectations from from a certain employee uh, on a certain position within a company uh, and also resolving basically all the other unknowns that maybe the employee has or maybe some concerns questions uh, that maybe are influencing uh, on their uh, onboarding process uh, in a company uh, so that's why it's important we we, we uh, we're going to tell more about why we're connecting it to the work life balance a bit later uh, but uh, what are you know some of the benefits that you get when you have a great onboarding system and process maybe within an app maybe within a solution you already have maybe to inco incorporate something that you're already using uh, but basically to resolve th that challenge uh, you get of course better improved talent acquisition uh, you know the word is spreading around uh, <laughs> you have a great onboarding system yeah. and uh, more and more talent are willing to come to you have this this smooth onboarding basically feeling like they never left or joined a new company uh, and needed to start working on a new challenge uh, in their professional career uh, also we mentioned that it is decreasing time to productivity so we want people to be uh, to start being productive as fast as possible uh, not uh, spending too much resources uh, uh, on, on, the, on the onboarding itself, uh, especially if, if it's a higher seniority, uh, etc. Uh, also, uh, it's increasing relation rates. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, it's also promoting the company culture, better company culture. As we mentioned, this, the word is spreading around and uh, uh, onboarding is basically also a representation of your company's culture. Uh, and the first feeling that employee is going to get with the company culture that you are trying to promote or, or, or uh, live within the company. Uh, so that's also something that's really important yeah. for, for, for the onboarding process. Uh, now we have the work-life balance here also mentioned because uh, we had a use case where basically onboarding was a big factor of uh, the, the work-life balance uh, challenge uh, one of our uh, partner had uh, because uh, they had dislocated offices. They had people that are often traveling. Uh, some people are basically changing the country they are going to live and work. Uh, so the good onboarding, uh, good good onboarding process, and having everything set up correctly as you want it to be uh, uh, custom to your unique uh, definition company culture uh, is important also for their feeling and happiness in a work-life balance environment uh, work-life life balance is something that um, more and more companies are, are basically uh, putting the exclamation mark uh, and trying to enhance trying to improve within a company uh, also it basically represents how much a company is also taking care of their employees outside outside working hours yeah. uh, how much they care about that uh, because you know you have colleagues in, uh, at work you have some of, some of them or most of them are your friends maybe best friends you know you find a wife husband a boyfriend <laughs> girlfriend <Yeah. laughs> so being eight hours at work it's not a, it's not a small portion of your life and it's a big, big portion right uh, so it's really important to invest in a work-life balance which also increases the productivity uh, you have less stressed work workforce which is more happier uh, and not so stressed uh, also it's it's 
taking care of their health and their well-being uh, as an individual uh, through some company initiatives on the work-life balance uh, also it is giving you uh, to them a positive perce perception of the employer as a, as a company as an organization yeah. And at the end of the day, it brings you loyalty, it brings you motivation, and it gives you commitment of the employee to, to yeah. the company. Now, Philip will mention and tell more about the app yeah. itself. Yeah. Uh, first of all, just brief touch on the onboarding, uh, where mobile apps really uh, bring a lot to the table. And the, it's very important during onboarding that people have information uh, wherever they are and they carry their phones everywhere. Uh, especially, for example, if you have like a big office on multiple floors, you can like have even a, a floor plan and maybe even leverage uh, Bluetooth beacons on some, on our, some other technology to actually uh, uh, people to bring information to the people about where are the meeting rooms, where's the kitchen, uh, what snacks are available and, and stuff like that. Uh, so that's just one example. Uh, but the app I'm going to be talking about is called 128 hours. And that's basically the number of hours in a week that's left after you're done with work. And that's something that companies normally don't focus on. They focus that employees are happy while they're working and that's really important, uh, but if you're a big company, if you have like a lot of employees, departments, teams, if you have uh, offices in multiple cities, countries, and if you have an international workforce, then um, it's also important uh, how the, your employees are feeling outside of work, because maybe they 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 came to the city or the country from somewhere else. Maybe they're lonely and and stuff like that. And it's really important. Uh, provide them uh, with an environment where they, where they feel uh, okay. And um, this is actually the goal of this app. So this is an app that doesn't have uh, any uh, connection to the actual work. So it's not meant, it's just meant for hours outside of work. It's meant for colleagues to uh, connect with each other, to see um, people who share the same interests, maybe they'll go for a football match or they'll go hiking or something, uh, grab a coffee because if you have a big company and big office, an employee that comes will probably know his team, maybe someone from other departments, but probably 90% of other people uh, won't be in touch. So this is meant to, to solve that uh, problem.